Hey, I haven't put a video up in a while, but I recently added this Herd 200 uh, Deer Guard, which makes me feel a lot better about driving at night. But I thought I'd post a quick video um, about how it works. So you got these handles, push them back on the truck, locks them in to take it down pull them that way and then just let it down and it folds down like that on these hinges um, the reason I'm showing this is because I looked all over YouTube trying to find you know when I was looking at buying it I wanted to know how it went together uh, or how it you know mounted up to the truck and I just could not find anything um, so thought I'd put this out there, but basically the thing mounts into your tow hook receivers, just like that. And then, so, um, I'll open up the hood and, and show you how, how they go. So it comes with these pins that you slide into your tow hook receiver right here goes in there and then you put you put that through this hole here kind of hard to get it but yep they go right there um, and then let me close the hood once you got those pins in then this part this part is like a sleeve that slides over top of it. Then there's a nut right in here, the one in the middle. You tighten that up and that tightens this portion. Then this piece is separate. You lift this up and this bolt here and that bolt there. Um, you just torque those down and it's good to go. The only other thing is once you get it on the truck and push those forward, um, you have to adjust it. This is meant to be, you know, rattle free. But when I put mine on, this side was tight and this side was loose. Like you could grab that and kind of wiggle it around. So what you do to tighten it and it's not that it's not too difficult so I'll open it up like this the mechanism is right here you can see how it works it squeezes this part around this area you can just kind of see where it grabs right there so the adjustment bolt is on the bottom right here this is like a kind of a, a jam nuts type of setup so you would loosen this part and then this bolt you turn to raise this piece up and down and give it basically a tighter bite so just do that on, on each side once you've got that done should hold it you know it shouldn't move around basically like you can you can feel it nice and tight when you push that handle forward. But yeah, there it is. I think it turned out pretty nice. Shouldn't have to worry too much now driving around at night. Um, and I'll tell you what, let me show you something else. New addition since a lot of you know my truck sits a lot because I've got other things I do. Um, I started putting this on. Battery tender. This is a 750 milliamp. So it's not a lot of uh, power. But see, I just got this plugged into the wall. And right here on my terminal, uh, battery jumper terminals. Uh, so that goes direct to the batteries. Every time I park the truck, I throw that thing on 
And the first time I, I put it on, I want to say it took, shoot, I don't know. Um, I want to say it took three days, three or four days to, um, to get it like for that light to go green because it's going to be red when it's charging. It's going to be flashing green when it's within like 98% or something like that. And then um, it goes solid green when it's 100. And then it'll just sit there and maintain it. So the truck's been sitting a few days now. So I'm going to turn the key on. She is ready to go. We need some air, but we got plenty of battery power. It's a good feeling when you don't, when you're not running the truck too much and you're confident that you can go jump in pretty much any time, no matter how long it's been sitting and fire it up and hit the road. So I want to say this thing was like 30 bucks. Anyway. Highly recommended.